Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to crochet class number 19. Today we are going to learn how to tell the right and wrong sides of crochet. and back of your crochet work or the right side or wrong side can be quite difficult if you are just starting out. It's difficult to see your stitches, but in this video I'll show you a super easy way of telling a difference. One way you can do it is you look just at the outside edge, and this is if you haven't turned your work. At the outside edge, those little V's will be facing you. So if their V's around the very edge are facing you or you can see them, that is the right side of your work. If you look at the outside edge and you just see these little dimples just around the edge, these little spots, that is the wrong side of your work. That is the back of your work. And that, of course, is if you haven't turned your work after each row or each round. If you do turn your work after each row, it'll look like this. So some of your rows will look a little bit smaller and some will look a little bit taller. So the short rows are actually the rows that are facing you, the front side, and the tall rows, those are the back of your stitches. The front of your stitches, that stitch, it will be before the post. So here is our post, and that stitch, if you pull it, it is before. I'm talking about this little spot here where you're gonna stitch in. You'll be stitching into the stitch before that post, and that is if you have not turned your work. If you have turned your work, then where you're gonna be stitching into that stitch is after the post. So here is the stitch, and we'd be working in after right there. So that's another way you can tell. If you just isolate that post and give it a little pull, if the stitch is after the post, you have turned your work or you're working into the back or the wrong side of your crochet. And if you pull that post or pull that stitch, where you're going to work into that stitch is before the post. That means you have not turned your work. If you have turned your work each row, then the front side is whatever you started with. This will be the front side of your work, that very center of your crochet. Now that's all a lot to keep track of and a lot to keep straight. So now I'm going to show you a super easy way to visualize it. Think pasta. <laughs> I know, right? So we have penne pasta and we have elbow macaroni. This is the front side of your work and this is the back side of your work. The front side of your work looks like penne. You can kind of tell the stitches make a bit of sense. There's a bit of order to it. And the back side of your work or the wrong side just kind of looks like a hot mess. Looks like a big bowl of macaroni. Nothing really makes sense. It's just stitches, there's loops going every which way, and they all kind of look like little macaronis. So the back side, macaroni. The front side, they make sense, they're lining up, there's a bit of order to it. That is your penne pasta. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little class. There is a link to the playlist for all the classes in the description box down below. And if you haven't joined or subscribed to this channel, go ahead and click those buttons under this video right now. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions and we'll see you in the next class. Stay hooked.